the difference between the real world of our business, the real world of our business need, and the data we are able to get, right? That natural disparity that must be there, mathematically impossible for us to get the full picture of our business world in our training data. So how this, how we manage this situation, this is very, very critical. You have to master this. You have to be a master of this. Even if you are not in the engineering team, if you are on the project, you need to be able to think this, think this clearly and be able to inspect this, you know, and uh, even if you're a non-technical person on the project, you should be able to inspect and ask questions about this because this is extremely critical right uh so that's where pre-processing comes in data exploration uh exploratory uh data analysis where you begin to look at the data you know can you span that and then you know kind of uh, print out some subset of the data some part of it and then just uh, look at some statistics about the data check the probability distribution of the data check a lot of things and then uh, during the training process you, you can also you know have some logs to observe to look at what is going on to see what percentage is being used and uh, you know to be sure of what technique is being used this has to be clearly specified right because these are extremely critical uh, to the success of your machine learning and engineering project this also brings the question of what is known as the empirical risk minimization uh, right so so that's what all these are doing. They are helping us to take care of this empirical risk minimization. What's the empirical risk? The empirical risk is the fact that we have something that is not really the real thing, right? So we don't have, uh, we cannot have data that is the full model of our business world. We can, right? Uh, so uh, we have limited observation. That is it. We have limited observation. Our data is not only science, you know, so because of that, we deal with this risk. So that is what you're going to be doing. Uh, so it's a critical part of your project management when, uh, you know, working on machine learning project, uh, you do this risk management to be, to be sure that, okay, fine, we have a sizable data set, you know, at least uh, the larger, the better, but then even when it's large, you still need to do a lot of things, right? Where that will come into stuff like regularization and all that because the, the nature of the data also matters for training because if it's not properly standardized or as the case may be, uh, or if you're not dealing with principal components and all that, 